it is about our brothers and sisters in Christ. The disciples said, nah, nah, you, you didn't answer her, so now she's bothering us. Send her away. Hello in here. We don't want to be bothered with her devilish daughter. Ain't that like us? Looking down our nose at folk with judgmental attitudes. Attitudes of self-righteousness. Talking about what we never did and what they should have never done. It's a reality of life that everybody don't have the same upbringing. Amen. Everybody didn't get the same teaching maybe that you were fortunate enough to get. Amen. Everybody didn't come up in the same environment that you were fortunate enough to be raised in. There are times when you have to have a compassionate heart because yes. sometimes folk do what they do because they just don't know any better. Yes, she's a mother five times back. Different men go to her, sit her down, and talk to her. Amen. Maybe she don't know no better. Then after you talk to her, let her make the decision mm -hmm. to whether or not she wants better for her life. The disciples like us, we ain't got time. Mm -hmm. Nobody's problems but ours. Lord, send her away. Amen. Now she's crying after. Oh. Well, the Lord did answer. It wasn't quite the answer she was looking for, but it was the one she got. <laughs> the Bible says, he said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. In other words, the Lord was saying, I don't even have a blessing for you right now. In Matthew chapter 10, when he sent his apostles out, the Bible indicates that Jesus told them, don't go to the way of the Gentiles. Right. Go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Even Paul indicated that the gospel is to the Jew first uh -huh. and then to the Gentiles. What Jesus was saying is that, woman, it ain't your time yet. Right. Uh, You're going to get a blessing. Not right now. I learned there's something valuable about persistence that will get the Lord to give you now what he was going to give you later. The Bible says that she said unto him as she worshipped him, uh, Lord, help me. It's not neat to give the children's bread unto the dogs. Listen to this analogy. Jew, child of the house, entitled to bread. Gentile, dog, out on the street. And he's telling her her place in the scheme of things. And she says, Yes, Lord, but yet the dogs eat from the crumbs which fall from their master's table. I know it ain't my time yet, but if you could just give me just a little something, something, yes. I'll work with what you're giving me. Yes. Sometimes God won't give you what you ask for, but if you humble yourself and say, whatever you bless me with, I'll be satisfied, the Lord will turn that thing around. She, she was humble. <laughs> and said, I know the children's bread is special. I know that the dogs have no place in the dining room. But if you just give me the crumb that falls, not from his mouth to the plate. Yeah. Not from the plate to the table. But give me the crown. Fall from the table to the floor. Yes, and I'll be satisfied. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's saying right there. Yeah. That display of faith pleased God. Uh -huh. To the degree yeah. Yeah. that the Bible says, Oh woman, Jesus said, Oh woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee. Even as thou wilt. Her daughter was made whole from that very hour. The Bible 
lets us know that Hannah's desire. As a mother, that she wanted the Lord to recognize what she was going through. True, true. She wanted the Lord to remember her. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, she wanted to receive seed. Mm -hmm. She wanted the Lord to allow her to be able to conceive a man child. Mm -hmm. She wanted the Lord to give unto her something that she would be able to give back unto him. Mm -hmm. She wanted to receive this blessing mm -hmm. so that she could turn around and bless the Lord yeah. with the blessing wherewith he had blessed her. Yeah. She said in verse number 11 that if the Lord would give unto her a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life. Yes. She said, and that shall no razor come upon his head. The desire of every mother ought to be to give back to God Amen. what God has given unto her. Amen. Notice how Hannah said that she was going to do it. She said that she was going to consecrate hmm. or set him apart, yes. allowing no razor to come upon his head. We learn from Samuel's, from Samson's situation sure that that was him taking a Nazarite vow. Amen. This Nazarite vow would set the child apart Amen. for use of the Lord. Amen. It was a special consecrating or sanctifying of him so that he could be used for the Lord's purpose. Mm -hmm. Hannah had decided she was going to keep him away from worldly and corruptible things. Amen. Hannah had decided she was going to make sure that he didn't look like the world. Right. She had decided that he wasn't going to act like the world because this blessing that God had given unto her to take away her reproach was going to be given back unto God for his service. Her desire was to have him, but she knew that she couldn't keep him. She knew that she was going to have to give him back to the Lord. She knew that there was going to come a time when she needed to train him up in the fear and in the admonition of the Lord so that he could serve the Lord in sincerity and in truth. And you know the Bible shows us several occasions of you being able to give your children the understanding that they need about the Lord. I mean even when you look back at the Passover occasion when the Bible says that they were to keep this feast every year throughout their generations so that in time to come when the children would ask them questions right. what mean ye by this service that you could tell them that we do this in remembrance of when the Lord passed over our houses and allowed not the destroyer to come into our coast when they crossed the Jordan River the Bible lets us know that God had given Moses the command to tell the men of Israel to take each one of them a stone, yes. each tribe a stone, yes. and then set them 12 stones up on the other side of the Jordan. And that would be for a memorial because the time was coming when the children would want to know what I mean ye by these stones. And that's your opportunity to tell them that this is the place where God allowed us to cross over the Jordan on dry land. Yes, mama, you can't teach your boy how to become a man, but you can teach him about the man who can change his life. 